Hello everyone, this is Cybertronian Beast, and let's talk Transformers. Today we're taking a look at Hunt for Decepticons, Sea Spray. This is Voyager class figure, and I have had him for uh, probably about six months now. Never opened him, and I've really been excited about getting to him because he just looks awesome. Uh, sea Spray from the uh, G1 cartoon was really good. Um, and uh, obviously this looks nothing like the original um, other than his alt mode, the hovercraft, is the same but the color scheme is completely different and uh, I'm okay with that um, but uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at the packaging here first on the side here we've got uh, a really cool picture of sea spray the art that they use in these is really quite good. I, I like it. Uh, on the back here, we've got uh, Sea Spray in uh, robot mode. And uh, you can see that uh, he's got these two harpoon looking guns and uh, some um, the, uh, the hovercraft engines definitely go over top of his shoulders there. They look really quite cool. So we'll, uh, we'll get into that transformation shortly here and we'll see what, uh, what's what. And there he is in uh, alt mode, the hovercraft. And I just love that uh, that hovercraft mode. It uh, it looks really beefy, and I love it. Um, okay, so there that is. And I'm fairly certain that this sea spray figure uh, is a repaint of uh, of another figure. Uh, and for the life of me, I can't remember the name of the uh, of the original figure right now. But uh, either way, I don't have it, and uh, and I do believe I've seen it before, and I and I remember thinking to myself that sea spray um, looked better as this mold than the than the other figure. So uh, I'm glad I have sea spray. Anyway, let's get them open, and uh, and we'll see what we're dealing with here. Okay, so here we are. Here's sea spray. And he is obviously in his robot mode right now. Like I said before, he is a Voyager class figure. And he is from Hunt for Decepticons. Now, I have a um, deluxe size figure here. Here's Perceptor in for comparison. Perceptor is a deluxe size figure from uh, Reveal the Shield. And they came out, out around the same time. Just for size comparison there. So there's... Not a humongous difference, but it is definitely noticeable. Um, sea spray is about uh, uh, about an inch taller without the uh, without the engines on top, so um, definitely a, a good size upgrade for that Voyager size. Now uh, we we'll get Perceptor out of there. You've had your your moment. We're uh, talking sea spray here. One thing I do like to point out, can't really see it with the lighting there. On the chest, on the chest of Sea Spray, you've got uh, the Autobot symbol, which is fantastic. But then on the uh, on the other side, you've got like a call sign or his badging, which would be in his uh, alt mode, which spells out Sea Spray. And I I love that. It just you know it makes the f the figure that much more authentic looking in uh, in alt mode. Um, and we'll back out of there. All right, so let's get into the figure itself. One thing I'm going to point out here, um, right off the top, is because of the uh, the packaging, um, something that isn't uh, sh transformed on the figure in, in robot mode here, is uh, on the bottom of his feet, he actually has uh, little flippers. So you can flip those out, and you give him uh, kind of a of a webbed foot. Um, and I think that's kind of cool. I mean, he's a he's an aquamarine kind of kind of guy. And uh, it just kind of adds to the figure, makes them look a little bit more cool, you know, sea life like. And uh, yeah, so that's cool. Anyway, getting into transformation here, we've got uh, a bigger figure, so we've got a little bit more to do. Let's uh, first, we're going to take off the weapons. These are uh, uh, forearm holstered weapons, and they are uh, spring loaded. 
Here they are. There's those blue harpoon looking things. And there are two of them. They can also be held in the hand. And so he can have dual, dual wielding harpoons, which is uh, fairly badass, actually, if you think about it. I, uh, I really wouldn't want to come across anybody wielding dual harpoons. But that's cool. So yeah, he's he's got double weapons, and it's nice, because it looks good in both robot and alt mode. Um, but the transformation. Let's uh, just flip his his duck feet in. And we're going to start on his back, because he's got this very large kind of mass here. And it uh, it folds up really nicely, but this is the, the back deck of his of his um, hovercraft. So we can straighten that sucker right out there. And uh, actually it comes out to, that's the way it sits, but we'll just leave it stri straight out like that for now. Now we will um, start to put the back end of the hovercraft together here. Um, we're going to uh, actually, we will uh, move this up, and uh, we're going to fold these back pieces in. And this will start the the bottom edge of the hovercraft. You can see along there, the blue bit ends up being the bottom edge. Um, we can now fold the arms in. You just got to spin them all around and on themselves. And they're, they do peg into each other, which is quite nice. So you can see the uh, the two notches here, and then the one notch on this side. They uh, they connect into each other. Plus, there is an, uh, a peg on both sides here, which peg into the main body. So you just got to line everything up, connect it all, apply a little bit of force, and everything goes together nicely. Now you've got the arms just kind of waving around here like that. What we're going to do is we're going to spin them sideways like that and do a little, because it's a double hinge here, we're going to kind of bend it down here like that. See what I did there? So just kind of drop it down. So we need this blue bit to line up with this one here. Now this here is, uh, this bit here is part of the upper um, canopy, so we need to fold that up. This is also where you peg in your weapons in alt mode. So this can be kind of funny to get in, so we might actually just um, tilt it back up here for a second. And now that we've got that in there, we can bring it around. There is a peg right here, and it's going to peg into this. And it's on both sides here, obviously, so we want to do that, and it can be kind of sticky. So we're going to just toss it in here, kind of wholeheartedly, just like that. And everything just kind of lines up there. And we can obviously straighten everything and make sure everything's tight afterwards. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to lift up the edging, like that. And we're going to bring everything around, down, and peg it in. And there we go. Now this is a, 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 a different way of doing things for me. I usually start all transformations with the legs, but uh, the legs is, are actually the last thing you do. Um, just because uh, if you do them first, they get in the way like you would not believe. Uh, since we're dealing with the back, we can uh, spin the, the engines around. So you just tilt them up and down and around. Just, I mean, you can put them any way you want. It doesn't matter. These things go wherever you want. You can spin them around if you really wanted to. Um, and over. I mean, that's that's cool too. It doesn't matter. You can make them look however you want them to look. It really doesn't matter. I mean, that's cool. So now we're going to deal with the front. So as of right now, we've still got the legs 
in full robot mode with this uh, hovercraft hanging off the, the top of them. So basically we're just going to kind of crack them here in the middle like this and just bend them down around. Now I'm going to bring them around like this and as we're bringing them around we're going to bring the legs around to the sides and push them in here. Push the, the edging or the uh, the lower uh, waist or the crotch we're going to push that right into the bottom. Um, for the leg transformation it's kind of interesting you actually just you're going to twist the entire leg right around to make a 90 degree angle. See how that is there? And the same on the other side. You're just going to twist it around and you've got your 90 degree angle. So if you look, now you've got your, your front of your hovercraft. Now you've just got to maneuver these things into place. And all, all the while remembering that these two have to peg into the existing, um, the existing blue uh, boat bit. So there's that one there. There is a peg right on this seam here. So you can peg that in there. And we can peg this one here. Now you can see here, you've got two pegs. Oops. You've got two pegs on this one here, one, two. And you've got two ports, one, two here. So this is going to peg together nicely. You've got a peg there and you've got a port in here, kind of. And this is all going to go together really nicely. Just going to get the peg together. And uh, now you just kind of feel around for any loose bits, make your adjustments, and you're basically done. There is one small bit to do, and it's just on the end. You've got this little tray here on the bottom. You just grab it, and you flip it all the way up to extend the, uh, the tray of the hovercraft. It's not necessary, but it's there, so you might as well do it. So that's complete. Um, all we got left to do now is put the weapons back on and uh, they're just still sitting here from robot mode and here they are going back on exact same ports and they're there and there's sea spray in alt mode and he looks awesome he rolls really nicely He looks fabulous. The weapons still fire really nicely. Um, I'm fairly certain, as I don't have one sitting here, that uh, you could get a uh, Legends class figure up on this deck. And um, yeah, you could definitely do that for sure. Um, but yeah, no, he, he looks great. Uh, the 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 uh, the windshield on him is translucent plastic, so you can see all the way through. Although um, the the view is hindered by the the arms, which do come in right about here. As I mentioned before, you've got his chest with the Autobot symbol here and the badging C S P Ray, and again the badging here C S P Ray on both sides. I love it. It looks really good. It's a fabulous figure, and uh, it uh, it's great in in uh, it's great in Voyager uh, size. I can't imagine it being a deluxe size. Um, it works as a carrier for for the smaller vehicles, like I said, and uh, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's a great video. Uh, I think it's a great figure. The only thing that I think would make it a better figure would be if it were in uh, original G1 uh, coloring with the uh, the dark blue and the uh, the solid bright uh, yellow. It uh, it would make it look really cool. 
Now, obviously, any customizers or anybody feeling confident in their, you know, figure painting skills could could do that, no problem. Um, and in fact, I could probably look one up online and and see if anyone had done one. But this figure looks really quite good as a uh, as a Voyager class and in these colors. Um, I honestly wouldn't change change a thing. It's a uh, it's a really it's a really good figure. Regular Voyager class figures in Canada go for around twenty nine ninety nine or uh, or thirty dollars, and um, most of the time, if you're lucky, you can get them on sale. Uh, I got mine this particular sea spray. I got them for half price, so fifteen dollars. And um, yeah, if you can find your figures for for a decent price, I say get them. Anyway, this is Cybertronian Beast, saying I'll talk to you later.